it's hot and I got stuff to do. So let's talk about 2019 and what I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to a lot of stuff this year. A lot of stuff. Uh, some of the stuff isn't going to be mentioned here because it may not even come out this year and doesn't have a release date. So I probably, I'm not, well, I'm, it, mm, I can tell you 100% that I will not be talking about uh, The Last of Us Part 2 or Cyberpunk 2077. Who knows when they're going to be out? Probably the people making them. But not me. These aren't in any order. I'm just telling you what I'm looking forward to, so don't, don't be like, how can you say that's number one? It's not... It's just, um, these are just, I'm just talking about them. I'm looking forward to the new Hellboy movie. I said it. I'm looking forward to it. I'm not afraid of you. The trailers make it look alright. Sure, it doesn't have Ron Perlman or, or the cool monsters of Guillermo del Toro. I promise I haven't been drinking. But it's still got Hellboy in it, so I'm down. I'm looking forward to Captain Marvel. Let's move on. I really enjoyed the... It. The first part of It. Some people call it a remake. It's not. The other thing was a TV miniseries. This is the first It movie. And now the second half of that will be out this year. And I, I'm looking forward to it because I really liked the first half. Now this next one comes with a couple of... Things. I really enjoyed the first Zombieland. It was a fucking great movie. Everyone was fucking firing on all cylinders with that movie. All the actors... Ruben Fleischer, the director, did a great job. All around, a fantastic movie. Since then, Ruben Fleischer hasn't made anything good. And it's, it's I'm worried for Zombieland 2. I don't know if I mentioned this, I'm talking about Zombieland 2. It's coming out this year. The dude, dude doesn't make good movies. And I, um, he just somehow got lucky with Zombieland. And now the, this one's, this one's coming. And, uh, hopefully he's just bad making movies that aren't Zombieland movies. And he just makes Zombieland movies forever. Fingers fucking crossed, I'm telling you. Star Wars Episode Nine, Whatever it's gonna be called. Shouldn't we have a trailer by now? I swear they were putting out trailers for the last two episodes, like a year before the movie came out. Why, don't, why, why haven't we seen anything yet of Episode Nine? But I'm very much looking forward to it. I love Last Jedi. Fuck you if you didn't. I'm kidding. If you didn't like Last Jedi, you can get fucked. I can't wait to see how they wrap it up after the ending of uh, Last Jedi. I'm uh, very excited about it. Hopefully it's a thrilling conclusion to what's been a pretty good trilogy so far. Finally for movies, I'm looking forward to Avengers Endgame. Let's move on. Video games. What are they? Don't know why I said that. Crackdown 3 is, uh... I'm looking at... Mm. Crackdown 2 was a massive disappointment. Uh, but the first Crackdown, still one of my favourite games I've ever played. They just drop you into this world, and they're like, go. So here's, what, here's the main things you need to do. Do them when you get around to it. Okay. And you just, you just do it. And hopefully Crackdown 3 is a return to the joy of the original Crackdown. I'm going to collect so many orbs. Oh, just give me all the orbs, please. Resident Evil 2 remake I am looking forward to. From what I understand, they've taken Resident Evil 2 and made it prettier. That sounds good to me. I mean, I'm more looking forward to a remake of Nemesis because that was my favorite of the original trilogy. But Resident Evil 2, what I played of it back in the day, I never finished it, was very good. And this looks very good. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, yes, finally. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2 
Another, another one of those games, like uh, one of my favorite games of all time. It's so good, and it was this was like centered around civil war, so you had to like pick sides and stuff. It was great, and the new one is exclusive to the Switch, which is really weird, but uh, also cool because you know I can carry it around and play it like this. This is how I play video games. Don't know about you guys, but that's me. Next up. Wolfenstein Young Blood, yes. Wolfenstein. Co op. Oh, shit. Mm, fuck. Rage 2, which is also in a category of things I didn't know that I wanted. First Rage, garbage game. Fucking piece of shit. Loser game for baby losers. Rage 2, on the other hand. Looks amazing. Uh, it's coming from Avalanche, creators of Just Cause. So it looks insane, and bright and colorful, and like this weird, like, uh, desert punk. I don't know what you call it. It's weird, and it's cool. It's kind of like uh, Fury Road, Mad Max. It looks like that. Way more than the Mad Max game did. Not that that game was bad. That was also from Avalanche. I guess they're in a real Mad Max phase. But yeah, Rage 2 looks so fucking good! And finally, we have Doom Eternal. Oh yes, give it me now. Mmm, Doom Eternal! Oh, it's making my nipples so hard thinking about Doom Eternal. What are you looking forward to most in 2019? Do you like my list? Do you not like my list? Would you prefer it if I didn't rub my nipples anymore? Let us know in the comments below. I'll see you next.